So dollar cost averaging is something that we talk about on this channel, on this show quite a bit. And I've been showing you some pretty good sides of dollar cost averaging and just how fantastic it is. But I did a pretty poor job of showing you the downside. So today we're going to take a look at that. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take an amount of funds. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this on a Google spreadsheet so everybody can see it. And as time goes on, we're going to see how this actually grows in this disgusting bear market. And before we get into all that fun stuff, I just have to make uh, two announcements. First of all, I know that uh, some of you, not in the live stream, but some of you that are watching this video on the uh, replay will say, you are always talking about dollar cost averaging and I say the dark side and what's going on and uh, unsubscribe. You can do that, but just know that you have to watch the video first. You really have to get into it to understand. You could be a thumbnail warrior, but it's not going to do too well. And then secondly, uh, I am uh, feeling a little bit under the weather. Just got back from uh, Korean blockchain week. And uh, the stories I could tell you guys about market makers and venture capitalists and what's going on behind the scenes, disgusting. But I won't because I don't want to get sued or I don't want to have any problems. So we'll just move forward from that. So today I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. So forgive me if I have a little bit of, uh, of low energy, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So first of all, when we were talking about dollar cost averaging, there was this video a couple of days ago. Or actually, no, I'm sorry, four or five days ago. And, and I talked about what I would do if I could invest $1,000 to $10,000. And for the average person, this is a really junk type of uh, thing. So a lot of people don't have that. They don't have $1,000, $10,000 just sitting around. So in that video, what I did was I took a look at what would it be if I invested $5 a week or $10 a week. There's a link in the description. You can see how well it goes. The thing was, is I took a look moving forward from 2019, September 1st, which would correspond to our uh, four-year cycles. So of course it was glamorous and everybody was happy and it was awesome. And there's some downside to it. But I, before we get into it, I just want to let you know that, remember this, when you dollar cost average, you are dropping your cost basis below the average price. At least that's what you're trying to do. Now there's some cryptos that will not come back. Uh, a dash of salt, like I always like to say, dash, I don't think it's going to happen. Salt uh, was all time highs of hundreds of dollars and a crash and you're not going to get your money back. That's just how it is. You have to understand somebody's going to be losers because this is the market that we are in. So with this one, what I wanted to do is, and before I get into this part here, let's just, let's just go back. Let's just do a quick recap, shall we? And just go back to the nice days. If I went to 2019, January 1st, and I invested 10 bucks a week. That's it, 10 bucks a week. I, some people have it, some people don't. That's just the truth. And uh, I think most of you do. If you take a look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Dogecoin, Solana, Dot, Matic, we're going to talk about that later, uh, Chainlink, Cosmos, Near, and Algo. And this was the video last time. You can see that as we do it, I mean, if you went all the way back then, and we're dollar cost averaging for two plus years, you would have had $238,000, 304 in Doge. Doge, that's right. Matic, 58,000. And you might ask yourself, well, how much is $10 a week, Rob? Well, that is $2,440. And uh, thankfully, Ben has it right there for me on his website, so it makes things easy. But just, just so you know, that that's 10 bucks a week, not split between everything. That's 10 bucks a week in Doge, 10 bucks a week in Matic, 10 bucks a week in Link, ADA, Ethereum, Solana. And the next question is probably like, well, I don't have 1200 bucks to put into 12 different investments per week. I got gotcha. you. Maybe you put it into two or maybe three. It's up to you. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your dad. Of course, you do whatever you want to. So what I want to do is just back this up because this looks pretty sweet, pretty nice. Everybody's happy. Like, look, even, even over here in 2023, you'd still have $90,000 worth of Matic and you would invest the 2400. Doge, 36,000. Doge. If you had a lump sum, it's not by some miracle you have 2,500 bucks, you would have 15,000 in, in uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, so on and so forth. And interesting enough, you would have been underwater with Avalanche, Algo, Near, and Dot. Keep that in mind. So let's move forward because this is what we're going to try to do. I am going to go to this part here because 2021 was great. Remember 2021? Ah, oh, man, it was sweet. Everybody was a genius. You could do no wrong. Nobody was going to collapse. That wouldn't happen. 
And in 2021, everything was good. And then we moved forward and then everything just collapsed. And you can just see here that if we would have picked at the wrong time, it doesn't matter if you lump sum. If you lump summed, let's say 10 bucks a week, that's $880 from 2022 to today, that's 880 bucks. Lump summed, you would have been up pretty well until about September, roughly right now, and you'd be underwater. And then back and forth and back and forth. As a matter of fact, if you had invested in this junk bear market, which I have personally been doing, you would actually be underwater for most. As a matter of fact, the only thing that you'd be up right now, the only thing is Bitcoin and dollar cost averaging, not even a lump sum. Lump sum, you're halfway down. You're at $489. Adam Dot, Adam Maddox, Soul, Doge, Link, Ethereum. You're all down. Well, that's pretty awful, Rob. That is pretty awful, but that's just it. And that's why I named this video a specific title, which is this is the dark side of dollar cost averaging. See, a lot of people will just show you the other, the other piece. And I did a poor job of not putting this in, and I have to rectify that quickly. So you understand that, of course, I think most of us, if you're here, it's okay. But just so you know, we're gonna, it's going to be pretty junk for a while. And you have to understand, if you're looking at the macro environments and what potentially is happening with FTX and uh, this potential dump of Solana, don't start shouting off in the comments. I'll get to it in a second. But what I want to show everybody is this, because I showed you the good part. We're going to do this every week. So every week, I'm going to put a separate fund aside. And we're going to put 10 bucks into Bitcoin per week, Ethereum, Solana, Cosmos, Arbitrum. It's 1200 bucks a week, if my math is right. Something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, excuse me, not 1200, 120. <laughs> 120 bucks a week. That's not bad, 120 bucks a week. I can, I can do that on a separate account. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna track this. And every Sunday, we're just gonna take a peek at this real quick, and we're gonna do two things. How much it's down, we're gonna use Ben's DCA tool, and also, we're gonna take it off the exchanges. Because if you notice, underneath my gigantic head, there's some rules. It's all gone, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. 100% of scams, everything's a scam. Even Vitalik Buterin's Twitter account now is a scam. We'll talk about that in a second. Don't leave anything on exchanges. I think we learned our lesson with uh, Voyager and Celsius and BlockFi and FTX and so on and so forth. Don't use leverage. If you want to use 2X, I mean, have fun. You got to live, right? And then take profits along the way. I think that's the big important thing. So we'll do this every week and I'll show how things were going. If everything repeats itself, like we did back in 2000, let's just pick 2020. When we hit the bull market, whenever that is, and we look at some indicators, again, there's a link in the description of the indicators I'm using to sell 80% of my crypto, we'll still do pretty good. And we'll see how it works. Again, this is $10 per week and all these different ones. We'll see. So let me know what you think about that in the comments section. And then uh, also, I'd like to request something from everybody, if you would be so kind. This tool that I'm using is free. It's on Ben's site. There's a link in the description, like everything else. The light plan is free. You get a logarithm regression, weekly newsletter from Ben, nice, dollar cost averaging. Now, if you, want to go, if you want to roll up, there's a sale going on right now, but you may not need that. I just want you to use the, the DCA tool and put in your specific crypto because you can. there's a ton of them in here. And you can just see how things have gone historically. And that's the big thing. And then also, if you want to upgrade, you get stuff like exit strategies and time and wristbands and all that good stuff. So let me just think about that in the comments section. And then talking about Solana. <laughs> so this one's a good one. And it's false. So uh, this is from Crypto Rover. And I get it. Like when I saw this, I just asked the questions in, in Twitter. I'm like, is this true? Is this what's going on? So apparently... FTX is expected to receive approval to liquidate the following assets on September 13th. Today, it is the 10th. So you're looking at by Wednesday, they could liquidate. However, there's two things to note here. Uh, they had $3.5 billion worth of crypto in April. And the plan is to sell up to $200 million worth of crypto every week. And there's a lot. There's a lot of mixed crypto. You're looking at $1.2 billion over here, $245 million. XRP, ton coin. All right. Matic, Doge, Aptos, sure. 
Ethereum, Bitcoin, FTT, and Solana is the biggest bag. So when I just have been perusing through Twitter, I'm like, what, is this going to happen? Apparently not, but it doesn't stop everybody from dumping. So <laughs> the one that took the biggest hit today is Solana. It's almost down 7% in 24 hours, 6.8% for the week. And that is because of what is happening here. However, there's a pretty smart person in the comments, Marty Party. And you can find him. I put a link in the description as well. That's nah, a bummer. I think he deleted it. Anyhow, pretty much what he said was Artie Party was like was saying, no, as a matter of fact, as things go forward, this is not the total amount that's actually going to be uh, dipped into. There are uh, many different factors, but it's not going to be that much. And even though, and if we take a look at it, let's say 200 million. So the market 24 hour volume of just Bitcoin alone is 5 billion. Ethereum is 5.2, 11 billion, 11 billion, 311 million, so on and so forth. So you know, we did have something, but apparently that is not what it is. Looks like it was deleted, but that's what we have. So nobody uh, fret. However, even though that's not going to happen, just be aware that the FUD is out there and uh, the narrative sometimes plays out. And you're going to see Solana probably drop some more, but I could be wrong, but it's already down 0.1%. So that's it for that. And then lastly, before we get into a little Q&A, uh, I don't know how the heck this happened, but Vitalik's uh, Twitter account was hacked. And I, I got to tell you, it doesn't say too much positivity for Vitalik and uh, you know, trying to secure his account with two-factor authentication. There's two types of two-factor authentication. There's one with a text message, which, of course, it goes through your... It's, the service, this one being X, will send you a code on your messages and you put that code in. Well, if somebody does a SIM swap, it's very easy for them to just go, yeah, I lost access to this. Can you uh, give me back uh, access, send it to my cell phone? Sure. And then off it goes. That's all SIM swaps. And apparently that's what happened to Vitalik. Me personally, you probably do better with a Google Authenticator. That's what I have on mine. And um, just take a search for a Google Authenticator. I'm sure I did a video on it somewhere. Anyhow. So this is what happened. Looks like there's 700,000 that was drained. This was 19 hours ago. I don't know how much it is now. Probably over a million. And that is a big problem. So if you're on Twitter, if you're on, well, of course, YouTube is a, one of the bigger scammers out there. Just know that Vitalik's uh, account has been thwarted and don't crip anything. Don't, don't crip anything. Don't click anything. And then lastly, uh, there was a comment here from Rob, VGX Rob. And uh, he took a big hit with Voyager, as we all have. I'm still waiting for roughly up to six figures, but uh, we'll see how that works out. We got 35%, better than Celsius, that's for sure. And I said, uh, he says, being a scammer in crypto seems to be the only way to come out ahead. I said, George Foreman, grill guy, yeah. And he said, what about him? If you haven't done this already, there's this great show on Netflix. Since I've been sick, I've been watching some, some videos. And uh, this one's great, George Foreman, trusted, and tell me if this isn't a crypto narrative. George Foreman trusted somebody with essentially his keys with his bank account. And he put it into what was called rock solid stocks. And over the years, it just eroded because he was in super risky stocks and he lost all of George Foreman's money. And George Foreman was like, well, I got two options. I can uh, let that defeat me and go off into poverty and cry myself to sleep, or I can come back do the things that I'm, I know how to do and the new things I need to learn, like selling and being on TV and selling that ridiculous grill and fighting at like 40 years old, 38 for 45 years old. So it's just a narrative that I know people have lost. I've lost. I've lost in Celsius. I've lost in Voyager. Boo hoo. It sucks, but you got two options. You can't change the event. The only thing you can change is your reaction to the event. And that's it for today. So. Let me know what you think about that in the comments, but that concludes for the news.